Hey, what's up, viewers? This is Marco at J Mods, and this is my Christmas special, or um, my Christmas gift to myself, that is, which is a, I think it's a Tyco or Tayo four wheel drive um, twin turbo super hopper. These cars are fairly expensive on eBay. Like, I've never been able to bid on one less than like a hundred bucks, and the ones that you're, you could buy outright are like, three or four hundred. I've never owned one. I didn't even know they existed. Um, I got this one in fairly mint condition for eighty dollars. I spent a little bit more than I would like to admit, but normally I, I go cheap or restoration or I just refurbished RC cars. I, you know, I, I haggle a lot on eBay, but um, I went ahead and paid some big bucks for this one because I've got big dreams for it. Um, sorry, I've kind of gotten started already, but there's one of the brushless motors that's in the tranny. It's actually a pretty neat setup. The transmission has um, actually two motor mount locations, and they both ride on the same pinion gear. And I'm going to install two 6800 kV uh, 2440 brushless motors. I've used one of these in another Nico project and they are extremely aggressive so multiply that times two and what I've also recently learned well I haven't recently learned it I found it out maybe like two months ago is that you cannot run one brushless motor off of one ESC so I have to run twin ESCs to power each one of them well this is cool I mean you have this shaft here that runs up almost the center of the car into a front di differential and it's um, limited slip all the way around. This is a very neat RC car. I mean, it's pretty boss. But uh, as you can see, I've gotten started. I've already mounted one of my ESCs, and the other one is gonna go on the exact opposite side the same way. I'm gonna show you my battery tray. I haven't quite figured it out yet, but I will uh, when I come to it. But uh, the battery tray doesn't have room for like a three cell LiPo. It would be too big so my options are one really nice uh, two cell lipo or two smaller two cell lipos which would give me like 14.6 volts it can handle it with two ESCs two brushless motors um, this thing should be incredibly fast I don't know how the transmission is gonna um, deal with that but what I do know so far I've looked inside the transmission housing with the light um, the main sprue gear is really thick uh, I guess they made it so both of the pinion gears from the motors could ride on it um, they are a little offset but um, they both turn together I'm figuring that they, that they added that on for more power since though it has a shaft that runs up the center of the vehicle um, I don't think one 380 brush motor could um, give you that kind of performance alone, so they had to run a twin setup, and I'm taking full advantage of that. Stay tuned.